This is a video on how to edit the display um, stats that you see here on the front screen of uh, the player layout, player page, I guess I should say. One of the things that they added to the game this year, one of my favorite things, is the ability to edit this layout. As you can see, this is not the default layout that I have here. So I'm gonna show you how to make a layout and how to make it your default. So when you go to batter pages and pitcher pages, the stats are the main stats you wanna do. So you want to go to batting stats on a player page and view, and then the good stuff, that's the one that I use, all right, but I'm gonna show you how to do it from start. You're gonna to go to edit, add stat row, and you go to this new row and you're gonna edit this thing. And then you're gonna go through and pick the stats that you want. So for me, I use games and games started. I like plate appearances, and I'm not gonna go into too much detail on why I like these. I have a different video on how to evaluate players when I where I go into the different stats I use and why. And then I do use the slash line stats, average on pace slugging. And then I, while I'm here in the ratios, I put in BABIP and then some counting stats that I like to keep track of just when I kind of look around the league or look around my team are runs, hits, doubles home runs, RBI, and then big ones that I use here, these ones at the end I consider really important, um, are base on balls percentage, strikeout percentage, and then run, weighted runs created plus and OPS plus might be redundant. I use them both. They're normally very similar, but they're essentially the best, I think, the best catch-all metric uh, in how to evaluate a player, I guess I would say. And by that I mean um there uh you know there are a lot of over over the course of seasons a good slugging percentage versus an average slugging percentage is going to be different depending on the era the reason why i like ops and runs created plus a lot is they adjust for era so a 110 uh runs created plus in 1990 is the same as a weighted runs created plus in 2020 relative to the league if you want more info on the stats, I suggest looking at my how to evaluate players video or go to FanCrafts and just search those stats. And then you can sit here and you can order these. Um, so if, if you want to like order these stats, you can drag drag Run Scratch Plus up. You can move War way up here, etc. I think I have it normally here for me. And then I like BABIP up here with the other ratio stats right after slugging percentage. And I like base on balls and strikeout percentage down here with OPS plus and runs created plus just because I pay a lot of attention to those four. Um, and then, let's drop my pen. So then say this is the view that you want for batting stats for the individual player pages. You hit OK. And then you need to move it up to the top. So this is your new row. You're going to move it up. It says the first row. Um, will now show on player pages. So you go ahead and hit OK, and there our new layout is right there, very similar to the one I already had. And then you can do the same thing for pitching stats. Uh, you just go to pitching stats and edit and make the stats that you want and then move it to the top. And then every time you go to a player page for pitching stats, it's going to show that. And on the main profile file page, it's pretty slick. The game, depending on whether it's a hitter or a pitcher, will display um, your default batting or pitching stats. So I really like this because I I like looking at the percentages, the runs created plus. Those are things that I don't that were not on this front page before. So I had to go digging into the stats every time I really wanted to look at a player. This really helps me be able to just look on the profile and see what I want. You can also adjust your stats for and don't pay for this is a <laughs> So say we're on pitcher rating. So this is where you look at huge lists of players, whether you're looking at your team here or whether you're looking at free agents or a draft, et cetera. You can edit these menus. And the way you're going to do it is you're going to click the view that you want to edit. So say we want to edit our pitching stats too, and this won't write over it, um, or pitching tests so we're going to do. Pitching test, and then we're going to go to customize. And now we're in our pitching test view. And we're going to pick all these that we want. So we want games, games started, innings pitched, ERA, 
Um, and what will be some other ones? ERA plus I like a lot, and and FIP are, is very helpful to have. And again, you know, look at the player how to evaluate players video or fan graphs for more on what what stats you like. That's gonna be different to everybody depending on whether you like more sabermetrics or whether you like traditional, more old school stats. But you can get all the stats you want here. I really like uh, WAR, ERA plus, FIP, um, BABIP, which is batting average on balls in play. Strikeouts per nine, uh, walks per nine, hits per nine, home runs per nine. I like all those too. Um, so then you can hit, okay, like this is the view that I want. Cool. And then, so you hit okay, but then you want to go to save view. So then it's going to save it. You can name it whatever you want. So we can go to pitching test two and it won't overwrite pitching test one. Now, as you could see there, I saved that to a local view when I clicked save. If you, a global view means that, if you save it globally, it means that that uh, stat display will then be there for you when you go to different menus throughout the game. So say you save something locally like I, like I just did, but you're saying, well, I want that menu when I look at free agents. You could go here and you go to edit views and you're gonna go down to pitching test two and you're gonna go to move to global. I'm gonna say, cool. I want that global. So now I'm going to go look at free agents and I am going to use my new pitching test too. And here it is. See, so now it's there so you can use it in every menu that you use. Um, so that's kind of the gist of the, the game in terms of it now allowing you to display what stats you want. It's really handy on the individual player pages. And remember just to have the saved view as the top view, like I did here on Josh Bell. We'll just show you that one more time. Um, the batting stats and the views and and what the one that I want is up top so say the good stuff is what I want I go in here to edit move up cool that's not what it shows me so that's how to do it and then the team pages don't forget to save it as a global view or eventually move it to global view if you want to be able to use it at different times so uh, that's that's about it for this